All right, you guys, so this is a living horseshoe crab that we have in the bucket right here. He's got tons and tons of barnacles. These are actually dead. Um, there's nothing living in these barnacles anymore for the most part. Uh, but horseshoe crabs are one of the substrates or the landing spaces that living creatures can land on. So fun fact about these, barnacles are actually also arthropods because they are joint foot or they have jointed appendages. Um, can you zoom into these down here? Oops, they tickled me. There are some living barnacles that are right here that maybe you guys will be able to watch them come out and feed. That'll be another video that I'll post. Okay, so right there, um, whoop, he doesn't want me to see that. See, there goes the tell sing sing. He's going air high five, you guys. We're in quarantine. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so those are some barnacles that are on here. Okay, so he's not really happy with me, but one cool thing about our um, horseshoe crabs are their eyes. Come on, dude, let me see your eyes. Beautiful eyes. Okay, right there is one of the eyes. That is a compound eye. And compound eyes are used, um, or horseshoe crab eyes were used a lot in researching for um, contact lenses and just figuring out more about the vision world of things. Um, he's got two compound eyes, on one on either side. Here's one, and here's the other one right there. It's kind of a bummer that the barnacles are getting so close with eyes. But horseshoe crabs actually have 10 eyes. Here's some more right there. There's two of them, two tiny ones. And these eyes are used um, for vision, for finding mates, but also for light sensory. So these eyes are a huge advancement compared to Phyla Molesca, um, but there's 10 of them total, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna flip them over and I'm gonna show you the ventral side, if he wants to stay, of a horseshoe crab. Whoa, chill dude, chill. I know, I'm sorry, come on. And I'm pretty sure it is a male because I'll show you why. All right, so this kind of creeps me out because I don't like spiders. Another fun fact about horseshoe crabs, they are more closely related to spiders than actual crabs. So if you see right in here, see those fluttering? Those are actually his gills. Those gills are called book gills. And they're, since they're gills, they are used for gas exchange, but they are also used for swimming. And super cool about horseshoe crabs, they actually swim upside down. Not for very long, and they kind of do like loop de loops, like on a roller coaster type deal. But that is their book gills. Then what you have here, and oh, sorry, the book gills are also found on the abdomen, the abdomen side. Um, woo! So I'm not a huge fan of spiders, and because they're close to spiders, I don't exactly like seeing the ventral side of them. But it's kind of snazzy. So you can definitely see that all of those appendages are jointed, and that's why they are called arthropods. Um, right here, these two right here, these two tiny little ones, they have little pinchers. This new word for you guys, if anything has a pincher or it comes in two parts, like a crab pincher, that's called biramus, bi meaning two. So every one of these pendages essentially is biramus and it helps to grab um, any food and pass it towards the mouth. The mouth is right in there in the middle. Ooh, hi. And so these two things are called pedipalps. And those pedipalps are the mouth parts essentially. Um, also, you can't really see, but there are other ones um, that are further in there, and those mouth parts are called chelicera. And so in phylum arthropoda, one of the ways that they classify all different arthropods is by their mouth parts. And they have either chelicera, and that'll put them in subphylum chelicerata, or they have mandibles, and that will put them in subphylum mandibulata. So these guys have chelicera, and insects, and spiders, and scorpions. Hey, scorps! Also have... Um, Chalicera. He's trying to, he's using his biramus, tickle tickle. Okay, he's trying to move his tails around so he can actually try and flip over. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take him out in another video and I'll let you watch him swim away. Bye.